the fourth p- pillar is about serenity and mindfulness. Um, if you're able to regularly, regularly, several times a day, listen to the relaxation response through breathing, through open focus, the body scan, um, using the NAC approach, shaking it off, mindfulness, then you will see um, improvement in sleep. So you'll sleep better. You'll lessen your anxiety, improve your focus boost your creativity, strengthen your immune system, and you'll have a fresh perspective now when you look at things in life and just even lengthen telomeres, right? Uh, these little um, like plastic tips, as they say at the end of shoelaces, we have these telomeres at the end of our chromosomes on the DNA. And uh, if they shorten, our life shortens and we have disease if they shorten too quickly. And so if we can stall that or lengthen those, we can even see these dietary changes, these mindfulness changes are changing things on a DNA level. So it's not just, oh, I think I feel better. We are seeing physiological changes on an epigenetic level and on a genetic level, on a DNA level. That's pretty impressive. And so that is the five pillars of health. It's all about practice. The value is not in the knowledge. The value is in the application of the knowledge. So remember, repetition, repetition. The longer you do it, the easier it becomes. And the easier it becomes, the longer you do it. It becomes a habit. Just like you brush your teeth every day, you don't have to go, oh, I got to brush my teeth. You just do it. If you incorporate these practices into your life, they will become habitual and you'll just do it. You'll actually miss it if you don't get to do it.